Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this pickup system. So as you can see, our player can walk forward and pick up and it will add to life. So this can be used for power-ups and many other things. Uh, it's pretty easy to use as you can see. Once we hit them, it deletes so you can't just keep getting it. So let's get into it and learn how to do it. Alright, so as you can see, I have a pretty basic scene set up here with just a first person kind of walk around thing. As you can see, you can just walk around and jump and so on. If you would like to use this scene, you can go download it in the description, but it is not necessary for this tutorial. It is just so you have a little player, you can walk around and stuff, just to make it a bit easier. So what we're going to do is we want to add some kind of object for our player to hit that they're going to pick up and get a power up or more life or something like that. So what you're going to do is we're going to add a cube and this is going to be our power up. So we're just going to have this as a health pickup in this tutorial. So I'm going to scale it down just a little bit because it looks nicer when it's scaled down. All right. So now that we've got that all set up, we want to add a little bit of logic to this. So we're going to go onto the cube and we actually want to add a property first. So the property is going to be a boolean and it's going to be named pick up. Nope. Pick up. All right. And we also want to add a property to the player. And this property, surprisingly, is going to be called player. Now it doesn't matter what type it is this is the name is the only thing that's important because this is this is the way you're going to detect what we what our objects are hitting and so on so just the name's important what type it is doesn't really make any difference so now that that's set up what we want to do is we want to delete this when the player hits it so they can't keep picking up the power ups so what we're going to do is add a collision sensor come down here to collision and in the property slot here this is where we put the property we want to detect if we are hitting so we're going to type in player since that's a property on our player so this is going to detect any prop any pro, any object that has a property player and we are going to connect this to an edit object and we're going to change this to end object so if we connect this up connect this up Pick that up. What you see is we can walk close to this, and once we get too close and we hit it, it deletes. So now what we want to do is we want to add some kind of life or power up to the player. So we're going to be adding life or health, whatever you want to call it. So what we want to do is come up here and we want to add a game property, and this is going to be an integer, and I'm going to call it life. Life. Right, so what we want to do is if we collision, ooh, didn't want that. If we collision with pick up, right, and then what we're going to do is we are going to add a action actuator. Oh, sorry, a property actuator. Yeah, come down here, just make it a little bit bigger. Just make this whole thing bigger. And we are going to select life. Now we do not want to assign to this property. We want to add. So we're going to add one. Now what you can do if you'd like is you can go minus one. If you would like to take it away for some reason. But we just want to add to the life. So we're going to go one. Or you can go more if your power up is the higher power up or something. So if we connect this. What you see is that this will get higher and higher in the game. But we want some way to see that because right now we won't be able to see that in game. So as you can see we've got this little information mark right here. So what this allows us to do is print our debug properties. So if we click on this and we come up to game and we go show debug properties. What you'll see is we have up in the corner it says debug properties and the object we have it on is called player base and life is equal to zero so if we walk over to this object and collision with it as you can see it disappears and we get one life so what you can do is you can duplicate this everywhere 
duplicate this everywhere over here and over here we just see is we can just keep collecting it, it up so that is how you set it up and it is pretty easy if you have any questions about this tutorial comment them down below you can also subscribe on YouTube to get updated every single week when I come out with a new tutorial.